Hi kids! Today we will learn about the human respiratory system. So let's start! The organ system that consists of organs used in the process of respiration or breathing is called respiratory system. During breathing or respiration, we take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide and the process of respiration occurs in lungs. Inhalation. The process of taking in air is called inhalation and this air provides oxygen to our body. Exhalation. The process of breathing the air out is called exhalation and this air expels carbon dioxide from our body. Breathing, inhalation and exhalation together is known as breathing. Now, let's learn the parts of the respiratory system. Mouth and nose. Through mouth and nose, we take in air. Our nose and mouth are lined with mucous membranes that keep the nose and mouth moist. Air we breathe enters our lungs through the nasal cavity or buccal cavity. Both the nasal cavity and the buccal cavity are lined with mucous membranes that make the inhaled air moist and warm. Warm and moist air does not harm the delicate internal organs. Nasal cavity is lined with cilia that are small hairs that filter out any dirt particles from the inhaled air. If we breathe in air through the mouth, less filtering is done and there are no cilia in the buccal cavity. So, it's always better to inhale through your nose. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. The next part we will learn is pharynx, or simply, the throat. Pharynx is the next part of our respiratory system. It is the intermediate part between the nasal cavity and the larynx. Pharynx is divided into three separate sections, nasopharynx, oropharynx, and laryngopharynx. Air travels through the nasopharynx and oropharynx and reaches the laryngopharynx. Once the air reaches the laryngopharynx, the part called epiglottis diverts the air to the larynx. Epiglottis performs a very important function. It ensures that the air from the laryngopharynx enters the larynx and not the esophagus. The food we swallow enters the esophagus and the air we breathe enters the trachea. And the part that ensures this is epiglottis. Larynx. The next part that we will learn is larynx. Larynx connects the laryngopharynx to the trachea. It is also commonly referred to as voice box. Epiglottis is also a part of the larynx. Trachea. Trachea is shaped like a tube and it is approximately 5 inches in length. It is also referred as windpipe. It connects the larynx to the bronchi. Air also gets filtered here before entering the lungs. The inner lining of the lungs produce mucus which traps the harmful particles from the air we breathe in before they enter the lungs. Bronchi The lower end of the trachea splits into two branches, which are known as primary bronchi, 
and these primary bronchi enter the lungs and then branch off into many smaller bronchi. The bronchi continue branching into even smaller bronchi, and it creates a tree-like structure in both the lungs. Bronchioles. This is the smallest tertiary branches of the bronchi are known as bronchioles. And they end in very small structures called alveoli which are small round shaped sacs, where the actual exchange of gases takes place in the lungs. These round shaped structures, that is, the alveoli, are surrounded by capillaries, and this is the actual place for exchange of gases in the lungs. These capillaries bring carbon dioxide from the body to be exchanged with the oxygen inhaled in the lungs. Carbon dioxide from these capillaries enters the alveoli, and the oxygen from the alveoli enters the capillaries. And thus, the blood is oxygenated again and is supplied to the whole body. Lungs. These two organs located inside the thoracic region are known as lungs. They are surrounded by a membrane that provides them with enough space to expand. The two lungs are not identical. The left lung is smaller and has two lobes, while the right one has three lobes. Lungs are like a sponge and are made up of millions of small sacs at the end of each bronchiole called alveoli. And these alveoli are filled with air when we breathe in. And this is the actual place where the exchange of gases takes place through capillaries. Next are the muscles of respiration. Muscles of respiration allow the inhalation and exhalation. And the main muscle in the system is diaphragm. It is a thin sheet of muscles at the bottom of the thorax. Diaphragm contracts and moves up when we breathe out. It moves down and becomes almost straight when we breathe in. And there are also a lot of muscles located between the ribs. It helps to compress and expand the lungs while breathing in and breathing out. So kids, Today we learned about respiratory system in humans. Different living beings have different types of respiratory systems, like fish breathe through gills and not through lungs. Some amphibians, like toads and earthworms, breathe through their skin. Some insects have tracheal systems for breathing, as they have small openings called spiracles, for exchange of gases. Even plants breathe, and that is through small openings called stomata, present on the leaves. So kids, all living organisms breathe, and there are different types of systems for their breathing. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.